Hello. I just did the daily run for the 4th of July. You should... You should watch it. I had fun, but <laughs> it's a short video, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. We're doing Samson, in fact the uh, daily run for the 4th of July was a Samson run, so we all know how Samson works. On the daily run, we didn't really get the opportunity to do Samson in the way that you might normally consider, which is where you use blood banks. And if you go and watch the video, you'll see why. Uh, spoilers, bombs. Bombs, bombs, fucking bombs. Of course, 4th of July is all about fireworks. I'll let you off. Curse of the Maze means we can go in here, we get a damage bonus for doing so, we got some spiders for doing so, which themselves have a damage bonus because we have a damage bonus ourselves. Yeah, you run away in that direction and you run away in this direction. Never the twain shall meet. Electioneering right here. Radiohead. Clutch references. Straight after the bark. Straight after the bat. Straight hurt the dirt. Yeah, good job on shooting that into a fucking useless direction. It's not like we wanted to get the you know, golden chest for free or anything. Um, Clutch Radiohead references right off the bat. Coming in your ears. Surely FM. Man. I hope most of my audience is English and not because I'm patriotic, long live the Queen, but so many things I'm gonna say will not make sense to American viewers. Now, I'm pretty sure Chorley FM is Peter K? I got hit here. I don't really, I don't really appreciate that. Some of the bitch walks in my direction. You're supposed to kick the bomb at me so I can kick it back. There you go. Yeah, thanks for the troll bomb. You did. Kind of doing badly here. Um, not my fault. It's... Uh, it's the 4th of July's fault. Yeah. This guy's gonna explode. Take out all his friends. LOL. I do appreciate this chain reaction. I'm hoping this item room has something that immediately benefits us. Kind of. We do have two keys and two bombs. I'll tell you what. Or I'll tell you what. The quarter is a bit of an odd thing to find in an item room, but we'll do both of this money and we'll spend a key we should have probably looked for a curse room to get into the no, secret room to get into the curse room now I think about it but I kind of didn't know yes yes just in case I mean curse curse black candle curse immunity pretty good um but kind of not good enough from the amount of damage I've been taking now I'd appreciate that some of the damage I took was on purpose to get into the curse room but some of the damage I took because I'm shit at this game like that fucking spider had no business attacking me. Honestly, I don't mind as Samson taking this dumb damage because the more damage you take on the floor, the more damage you do on the floor, and then, you know, this Ragman fight will be over quickly. Taking half a spirit heart of damage on Ragman is not the end of the world by any means. Some HP. It fills us up, right? No, but it does give us a full heart. And what I'd like to... Fine. Because it's not a daily run, I'm going to take the opportunity to try... Right and get hive mind. Well, that didn't fucking work, did it? You dick. Whatever. We've got some extra cash. There's a good chance of it. Well, there's an opportunity to spawn a blood bank on the next floor, which has been reduced in afterbirth because not all arcades have a blood bank anymore. Still drinking this fucking beer. So if you're watching my Darkest Dungeon series as well, you can probably track what I did on what day based on how long it's taken me to drink this goddamn beer. So now we can definitely get a decent damage bonus and get enough money, hopefully with some red heart drops, to get um to get something from the item room, from the shop, an item from the shop. If we want one, we don't have to necessarily get one, but the more we can play this blood bank, the more damage we're going to be doing on this floor, which is kind of, I'll be honest, I'm happy that it's the uh, basement <laughs> rather than the cellar, because... I kind of fucked up the last floor. I mean, I took some silly damage. I I want to blame the beer, but I mean, I'm drinking the beer of my own volition. And I don't really feel like it's having that much effect. I think I'm just shit. So, I'm not going to blame the beer as much as it would be possibly the right thing to do. No bad trip. Friends till the end is decent. Would have been nice to have had, you know, the, uh, the BFFs. Excuse me. Not BFFs. Hive mind. Okay, good. That was going to annoy me, but luckily, our remaining fly defeated it with a plum. Well, it defeated it with its own body. I wouldn't go as far as saying a plum was involved, but... I mean, who am I to judge what fruit you use to get done what you get done? 
We did get some more money, but not from using the blood bank, which is kind of half the job done. Mostly I wanted to use the blood bank in order to get the damage done. Probably this way. Well, there's a shop, which is one of the things we want to do. I'm playing on normal. I do apologize. I tend to forget <laughs> when I restart the game that it resets to normal. I wonder if you can tell it to default to hard mode. I was just thinking, no fucking champions in this room. Oh, there's one. You know what, though? I'm playing like shit, and it's on normal mode. I have no excuse to be playing this badly. So, <laughs> hear that noise. Um, I'm going to bank this one, even though I don't deserve it, even though I shouldn't be playing right now. Don't really want any of this. Bogo Bombs is okay. A key could be decent, but right now... I don't think it's going to be that valuable across the rest of the run, honestly. Bogo Bombs, I mean. And we don't need a key right now. We, have, oh, we haven't been to the item room, actually. Maybe we will buy a key if we don't find one before we find the item room. Um, but, you know... Oh, Kind of hoping. Explosive Diarrhea? Tears up. Tears up is good. Explosive Diarrhea would have got us whatever's in that Tinted Rock, but that doesn't necessarily have to be a decent thing, to be honest. Get rid of this, because it's going to shoot me and I'm not going to be ready for it. Can we ask why a little horn is throwing uh, super troll bombs at me? Don't really appreciate it. Fire these by all means. No, don't disappear though. Look. Back over here. I want you to spawn next to the bomb that you just created. Is that okay? Can you do that? Can you do that for me? I feel like I'm talking to a two-year-old. You know? Can you potty for me? Daddy wants you to use the real toilet. Deal with the devil. Range up is meh. Uh, but this is going to cost us all our HP because it's both amazing. Spirit of the Night makes us basically the lost with HP. More of the void means that we never have to worry about HP ever again. We can now fly. We can get this bomb. Honestly, I think I'll use the bomb to take this spirit heart. Uh, well, it's a tinted rock. It could be a spirit heart. Okay, you got everything except for that one, so... Fuck me, I guess. That was just... My complacency playing off there. Um, obviously, expecting a bomb to have a consistent radius in all directions is pure folly. What the fuck's the matter with you? We've got a bomb back. I will buy a key, because we didn't get one. Taking a bit longer than expected, but... Uh, I don't really care. I want to play the game. It's nice not having a 4th of July bomb-heavy... Samson run, so I'm just going to keep going. Yes, I'm glad I came here, because Mysterious Liquid is... Just a little bit of creep damage below everything. That, well, wherever the enemy is, uh, Tears Land, basically, which is often been below an enemy. Forget not that we do have this more of the Void. And I say this to myself, because in the past I have forgotten about more of the Void and taken something that you can't charge. If we could get something like Brimstone or something equally that charges, even Cursed Eye could be decent. Anything that charges to go along with more of the Void. Look at that. Fucking golden key on the first room. That's the best time to get a golden key. Something that charges would work very well with more of the Void because we'd be holding down the button anyway, so we wouldn't need to think about holding down the button. We might not be holding it down for three seconds when charging our hypothetical item, but we'd be charging it for some time. And that's what matters. Get rid of these, because I'm notorious. I'm gonna assume Spirit Heart's uh, secret room somewhere around here. We should shoot these. Now, the mechanic of these, of course, is that they help you beat the room, but then cause the item that you get from beating the room to show up in the middle, so you can't get it. But we can, because we're grown-ups. Hooray! Extra keys as well on a floor with you know, three keys. And all these black hearts from More of the Void. So we're basically rolling now. We don't need to worry about anything except for my own inability to pilot the game sufficiently to, yeah, to uh, not cause myself to die. Don't seem to be able to count to three. Full health full is health. good to know, but it doesn't help us right now. And Rune, which is Answers, which I'm not going to use right now. It can help us get through a floor later a little bit quicker. Unless we get something else, in which case I'll definitely use it. But right now, it doesn't do too much for us. I uh, kind of want Mom's coin purse just for that extra trinket room, as advertised. But I don't 
don't know if it's worth it. It is 50. It's full price. It's 15 cents. Please. One, two, three. Hooray! Um, take a trinket. If we find another trinket, I quite like Ace of Spades because I like getting um, um, cards. It increases your card collection. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Do I want it? Who knows? Shrug. Slash shrug. Hashtag shrug. What do kids say these days? Slash tag? Slash thick? I don't know. What are these words? What are you Tumblr people talking about? Is that what's called now? Tumblr? Reddit? I'd... I'm old now. I'm not going to buy that thing because I don't want it that much and I don't want what Bounce does. Uh, so, who cares? Maybe he answers this floor. Maybe we go in this room because we can. Maybe we don't give you anything except for this bomb. And you give us a bomb back. Nice of you. The moon. So he answers and then we can use the moon card to get out of boss rush. I'm glad I'm still thinking straight, at least. That's actually really helped because this is a very linear floor. It's told us where the secret rooms are, so we don't need to think about you know, trying to find them on the way past as well. We have an orbital now. We didn't really mention that. Pestilence gave us this ball of bandages, which is super cool. Super cool. Thank you. Because uh, it super helps us get to this boss trap room as well. Um, just passive damage. If we enemy gets close to us, if the enemy gets close to us, we can use the ball of bandages. <laughs> Do we fight this? I mean, with a mega fatty on the on the go, I'd kind of say no, but at the same time, there's only two of them. I don't think they're champions. I am on normal mode for my own foolishness, my own inability to read, pay attention. I was just excited to play the game, okay? Cut me a break. It happens. It'll happen again. Don't worry about it. Let's do this. Yeah. We'll get plenty of black hearts and all that shit, so I'm not worried about taking damage. Worried about getting to boss rush in time and scumming it up. Okie dokie. There's a bomb up there, which will help. I guess we take Butter Bean. I mean, it's probably one of the worst items ever devised by mankind for any computer game that's ever been made, but yeah, sure. Reusable knockback. It does work on tears, despite what Northern Mind thinks. 23 cents. We'll take a cheap Spider Mod. I like Spider Mod. And it's cheap. Pardon me? I think I got hit by the. Um, yeah, it was an explodey one, and I completely failed to get out of the way in time for my orbital to not hit it. Ah, what? A random shooting enemy randomly shot in the direction that I was in and couldn't avoid being in. Let's get rid of this. Piss me off. I think we save some keys. Two of now that we've got 16 bombs. And... My mistake. I read for some reason that the shop was next to the secret room. The shop is not next to the secret room. Both secret rooms are next to each other. Which is the difference here. Isaac's Fork can leave me alone. <laughs> what? That was worth two bombs. I mean, I don't mind having used two of clubs because we're not going to be taking it with us, but still. We're speeding, speeding down. I'm not a fan of. Tears upgrade, yay! Wow, we're actually going. That's actually a considerable upgrade. I appreciate that. Look how fast that's going. There we go. Another key certainly helps in the future. Now then. What's wrong with this run and how do we fix it? What's wrong with this run is that I'm shit at it and also I completely forgot that I was on easy mode. Normal mode. This helps. Leviathan kind of helps. I mean, it basically gives us flight. We should take contract from below. What's wrong with this run? Well, it's slow. I think that's the thing. It's slow. I'm bad. So what I'm going to be looking for is maybe some speed upgrades, but also something that makes me less likely to take stupid damage because I don't know how to play it. Right? If I can... Maybe a little timer that will tell me when I've charged up more of the void. Something like that? Seem like a bad idea, I don't know. We should blow these up. I mean, we don't need a teleport card, but we might still benefit from one. 
We're also going to be keeping some eye out for Tinted Drops. They're not desperate. We have got more of the Void, which should be keeping us well in as far as HP is concerned. But it seems to have stopped paying out recently. Maybe we did something. Maybe we said something. I mean, we should cast back over the things that we've said so far. Hot bombs! Check and see. Just in case we said something that offends more of the Void. If it's maybe being passive-aggressive and shunning us for some reason. I don't know. What do you think? Pretty sure I haven't. I, it's possibly... Oh, hear me out. It could just be simply that it's... a random chance. I kind of want to take this. We're not really doing anything with our money. It's not like you have money equals power. Anything like that. What we need is to make better use of things that do damage to us for free, like blood banks. Uh, but we can't really until we get more HP. So HP on a Samson run is kind of more important than it is on anyone else's run. I mean, red HP. HP in general is pretty important because if you don't have any then the run's over. But red HP specifically to Samson is that much more important than to many other people. I haven't actually pressed the spacebar since I picked up the spacebar item that I slanted. Maybe more of the void is like friends with Butterbean. And so when I was mean to Butterbean, more of the void was like, fuck this guy. Sun. Yes. The sun. Whoop. And another sun card can do this room. Whoop. Excuse me. None of that. Perthro. So the sun tells us about the boss room, which is this way. There's also a dice room, which maybe we should take advantage of. But we can do that. Why don't we do that more often? Because it makes us complacent, and then we get hit by the one that we didn't dodge. Let's go in here. A three. Push buttons. Oh, fuck. I walked on it. Now I've got the fish head and some fucking bombs. And a shitload of girdies. Leave me alone. I wanted the eternal heart. And the fucking spirit heart. Look. I thought I was out of the range of it. You could probably say, you dumbass, it was really obvious that you were not. That's probably true. It's probably entirely the case that it was as clear as day. And I'm silly. You might as well take the stars, Kai. Why am I here? What's happening? Shit the bed. <laughs> Alright, fucking pay attention and stop trying to get more of the void to work when it's not charged yet. Stop taking all this dumbass damage. You're not this bad at the game. And you're on normal mode. There's no reason to throw. Just talk yourself back down. 16 minutes. Not ideal. Thanks. We'll take the stars card because the stars card, like the moon card, gets us out of a thing, but it saves us a key, which could be useful. Another tears upgrade is also cool. And a campus fight, I think at this point, is fine. I don't really want to spend my HP if I can avoid it. There you go. Have that. Rumpy Coal is also a damage upgrade, which suits me to a T. No red HP still, which is interesting, because normally you're inundated with it and can't fucking get rid of it. I wouldn't mind having the answers rune on this rune floor, so that, we, so that we could do something with it to get us to the boss rush quickly. We don't have it. We got through a floor quicker, thanks to it, so it's not like we completely misused it. And we could just be lucky right now and uh, happen to go in the right direction for said boss. Not really useful the two hearts, since we don't have any hearts to two, if I just like those. I mean, this is feeling bossy to me, what about you? Yeah, here it is. So we're on the, we're on the mom fight, we're going to leave boss rush. As soon as we've oh bad really I wasn't bad damage in the sense that I took bad damage no bad damage in the sense that our damage is bad we haven't actually taken any damage at all yet so our damage is now lower than it was at the end of the last floor so obviously it resets back to uh, unbuffed fault damage we can use our orbital we can use our more of the void we can take damage to do more damage but mostly we just want to be hitting it where we can. Please charge up more of the voice slightly faster than I think it will charge. It obviously slow, uh, charges a lot more slowly than... Uh, 
Like Brimstone, for example. Honestly, I want to take Book of Belial. I want to take both. We can't afford to take both. I'll take Book of Belial. We haven't had a space bar item that I care for for quite a long time. And this could be shit. Or it could be amazing. Well. <laughs> Fuck it. D6. Sorry, everyone. I took the Book of Belial. It was... It was a... You know, a quick decision. It was... Oh, what are you doing? Just walk into the enemy, why not? Um, It was the wrong decision. And I was actually this far away from taking... Um, taking... Oh, what are you doing? Taking Ghost Baby. Now I have permanent Polaroid invincibility, which is useful, because I'm bad. I'll take Mom's Pearl. I found pills, apparently. We'll put some bombs here. It could get us some Spirit Hearts, which is something we're sorely in need of right now. Yeah. Okay. Um... Don't really want either of those. We picked up Sack Dagger, which is just another orbital, which is just more danger for me. Oh, did I kill them in the wrong order? I so. No. I don't, I don't really want that. We're not in a position to look for Guppy, so having red chests more often probably doesn't help us in any way. Like, I literally think it helps us in zero way. Because more of the void has got us covered in terms of uh, Spirit Hearts, so we don't need to hope for... Red chests that pay out with spirit hearts. It's probably a secret room around here, actually. We have plenty of bombs we should look. Unless we get two guppy items right here. Oh, funnily enough, it didn't happen. Retro vision. I thought that there was some sort of part of the PhD <laughs> where you get better pills. Is that not a thing? Does it not say better fucking pills when you pick it? Why not? Probably not those three words specifically. Uh, sure. That was worth it. That was even more worth it. Hopefully there's an item in the secret room. That'd be brilliant. You know what? This is supposed to be a run where we look for Godhead and Crown of Light. Neither of which we found. I think I've unlocked Crown of Light because I've only got two achievements left. Do you know what I should check? I'm going to check on the wiki how you unlock Crown of... <gasps> We can go back and get Ghost Baby! Oh, we got quicker time! Man, this run, if you stick it out, fucking rewards the shit out of you. Here's our seed. 2-0-W-P, G2-R-W. I bet you can do better than me. No item in here, but who fucking cares? This turned out great. We got to boss rush. Having picked up the... Oh, I don't really need that. Having picked up the goat head, we can now get back into the deal with the devil because it will now be open. We could even re-roll it if we wanted to. Oh, we can re-roll that into Demon Baby. Not too shabby. And of course, Cricket's Head is a permanent damage upgrade for once in our king lives. So, we don't have to try and take damage in order to improve ourselves on this floor. Which is nice because I'd rather not have to. Secret Room. Secret room. Fine. Fuck you too. How am I dodging these? Just switch off. Stop talking. Let your animal brain deal with the fact that there's these like horrible tiger-like predators. It's going to kill you and your family if you don't dodge in the correct manner. You know, that's what it's for. That's what your brain is entirely designed for. Is recognising that you're about to get eaten by some predatory douchebag. Excuse me, where did your uh, shots go? We've got it. Yeah, we're in the right um, right timing to use the D6 on this boss item. If we so choose. Let's see what the deal with the devil is first. Maybe we reroll. We do not reroll this. It's a bit scary, but uh, maybe we can battery charge? No. Battery charge? Maybe. Spirit Hearts. What's our luck stat like, do you think? I don't think we've had a luck upgrade yet, so... Honestly, I expect to get sort of one or two out of here. 
Having got one spirit heart actually makes me feel a bit better about it. I spent some sense. But there's no sense in keeping them. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? If you press tab while well, this is showing up. It shows up down here. Edmund! Bug! Ah, that's what we want. We can blow it up if it doesn't blow itself up. Do we want Steven or do we want to try and re-roll it? I don't want that. Get out of here. Might as well just take Steven. We've picked up some extra HP, which is super useful. We have got one more deal with the devil coming up, so try not to take too much dumb damage. And it's a little bit more DPS. We went that way last time. Let's go this one. So, I mean, it's not that bad, right? Steven can hit things for us if we need it to. Wow, I walked into that. I literally just went, oh, I'm going to chase this baddie down. And I did. And exactly what you expected to happen happened. I was trying to hit it with Sack Dagger. Uh, which I failed to do. <laughs> I was also trying to hit it with more of the void. In fact, I was trying to hit it with anything except for my tears, which, thinking about it in those terms, maybe is not really the right way to play the game. Because we have these ranged things which do creep damage. You know, it's. It seems like it's a pretty strong. Um, pretty strong advantage to have tears right now, and yet. I'm using Sack Dagger, is can't really afford to do that, not without the wafer. Don't have the wafer, do we? That was, um, that was the daily. Not really getting much benefit from it. The creep on this room. That's okay. I like seeing the numbers, honestly. There is a battery on this floor, so if we don't like... Oh, the bus doesn't give us anything anyway. I don't know what the devil gives us, which he will be doing, but it might not be items. <laughs> but we can still get a reroll for the deal with the devil, which is value in and of itself. Uh, of course, we've got empty vessel, which means we can randomly fly. Or we can permanently fly, which we could already do. We don't have any. Wheel of we could have put some money into that, but whatever. Take the other one for the chest. We can uh, fly, but we could already fly. But we will randomly get invincibility, which will be really good for us. As you can imagine, it's going to be random invincibility. Let's see if there's a secret room here. Oh, okay. Well, I tried. Take that. Do, do, do. So if invincibility pops here, we just walk into Mom's heart and hope for the best. I don't think there's a champion version of Mom's heart, which is kind of nice. Because we know if we have invincibility, it's not because we got hit. Provided we don't get hit. So we can do what we want. Uh, these are both shit. We can't take both. Don't shoot me. We can take Dark Bum. I think Dark Bum's worthwhile because we haven't got a guppy item at all. And you can have this to sort of start the ball rolling. Cool. We've got not very much HP. That's okay. I think Dark Bum might be worth it. And plus we have more of the Void, so we might get some back pretty quickly. Uh, that's not worth doing because it's going to be bosses, don't forget. It says Mob Chat Room. Don't let it fool you. I like knowing which of the sloths has how much HP left. Ooh. What could this be? Two of hearts. G. Thanks. Well, kind of probably shouldn't have opened that. Because now we don't have enough keys for the chest itself. But I guess that's okay. No black hearts still. I'm going to do small rooms while I can. Let's see if we can get black hearts out of. Look. Demon baby, I appreciate it, but still. Can you not? Is that okay? Oh, you fuck! You could die right here because I cannot dodge these things for shit. I had invincibility and I didn't even notice. We need to get rid of this. Where are you? You're over here. There's a black heart, but it's on it! What? <laughs> Excuse me? I don't want this the case right now. Pick it up. Good. Fuck. Right, shoot it. Just shoot it. Don't try your more of the void bullshit. Try your more of the void bullshit. Don't try your more of the void bullshit. Just shoot it. Right, there's one. One left. Now we just have to figure out where the uh, fisher things are going. Fisherman's friend. 
if it jumps. This is not. All right, we actually made a profit. That's interesting. Pop them. Pop them. Yeah, you the man. Of course, we got this mom's pearl, which I think is supposed to produce spirit hearts, but it ain't. What the fuck, though? Dick. Just got that. Not, not trying to be salty or anything, but I just picked that up and now you're taking it away from me. Dark Bum put a lot of effort into finding that. And you just shat all over his dreams. You are doing more damage, though, as a result of being hit. And with um, Cricket's head involved here. That's being multiplied nicely. Dark Bum. Dark Bum, though. Dark Bum. Dark Bum. Dark Bum. Dark Bum. Cool. Oi. Well... Let's keep going. Wheel of Fortune is for the chest, because you can get an item out of it. That's pretty much it. That's the only reason we've got it. Strength. Nah. Could help us uh, on the Isaac fight, but if we need that much help on the Isaac fight, we shouldn't be playing the game, really. Don't deserve the win. Here it is now. Of course, I do need help on the Greed fight just before it. Because I'm slightly worse at fighting Greed than I am at fighting Isaac. Oh, thanks. Perfect timing. Appreciate the deal with the devils, but they're also no use to us now. Right, don't be silly. Don't try using your um, orbitals for this. It's not going to help you. Just keep shooting it. Good. We're on phase two. You see? How easy is that? Don't let those things hit you, though. They can fucking hit you at random as well, which is bullshit. Oh, that hit me instead. But whatever. We're on this mode. Took one hit. Uh, not a fan of that. This is still really ropey because now that we're in this sort of late game territory, more of the void is only useful against sort of enemies that bosses spawn to help them. Very slow. I don't like being a slow. No more deals with the devil, so we've only got the items on the chest to help us. We also don't have Guppy's tail, which is what I usually count on to help us you know, get more items on the chest. So we're on our own. But we've got the uh, D6. So if we don't like the items, we just re-roll the fucking things. How many keys? Four. Well, that's going to be a problem as well. Cold. Yes. 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 Yes? I think I like all of these. Especially this dead eye is going to help us be pretty powerful pretty quickly. Also, this is a great room to use. More of the void on. Provided you don't then take damage from the hail of bullets. But heralds it. Fire. Good. And now we do this. Dagars. Oh, that's two spirit hearts as well. Perfect. We don't need the purity element because we picked up Black Candle right at the beginning. Pretty sure. But, uh... How, how is your hitbox that big? Sorry, what? That button. Deal with it. Uh, our tier stat is outrageous. Probably because of the aura boost, the aura stat boost. But I am very much for this. That is ridiculous. Oh, okay. Let's have them even higher. Is it at max already? No, no, it was not at max already. This is great. Just don't get hit. This is perfect. More chests, please. I want to use my rerolls. Everything is falling apart. We've taken a couple of hits, like one, one hit, but it's improved our damage to a great extent. And because of that hit, we swapped whatever stat boost we started with for this outrageous, amazing tears upgrade, which I am very reluctant to even give the game the opportunity to take away from me. Nice try, Greed. Kinda probably should have um, aimed to beat Lust last. But Lust was, you know, coming right for us. We should explode this. Probably should have played it, actually. Uh, That could be really good at the end of the game, but I think I'm just gonna reroll it. Fine. No. Oh. <laughs> this is how I was picking it up. Oh, conjoined. Okay. Now we've got even more bullets on the screen. I think they might be okay. Okay. Shit. I didn't see it coming. Hey, coming right for us. Well, 
Maybe our damage is better now? Something's got to be better, right? Something's got to give. Yeah, fuck you. I hate this. Trying to be in a position where these things can't hit you is kind of bullshit. It's a fool's gambit. When they're on the edge of the screen, anyway, you got to get them in the middle so you can orbit them like this. You see. How big is this floor, though? Excuse me? Red hearts. Black hearts. Hearts. <laughs> Any type of heart is fine, because I picked up Dark Bum. A great expense to the nation, I might add. It seems like the right way. And immediately, I don't know which way to go. Fucking get in there. With your invincibility bullshit. Oh, great. Get rid of this joker first. Nope. Didn't happen. Try black hearts, no? Oh, we're back on this. Amazing. Get rid of that. Yes. And the spirit heart. Thank you to the uh, trinket for once in its existence. It actually did some work. Yes. Trying to use the more of the void as much as possible to get this damage done, just so that we can give ourselves some opportunity to get black hearts out of it. Because if we kill them with more of the void, we've got a chance of getting black hearts. That's how that works. I, as far as I know. Strength. Ah! Kind of what I wanted, actually. Strength. Oh, we've got dead eye, of course. So as we uh, land a billion of these fucking shots, we get really, really good. <laughs> as soon as we miss any of them, our damage goes to zero. But that's it. We did win. I thought I wasn't going to win, even though that was a normal run, which was slightly embarrassing. But we did do it. We didn't get what we needed. But uh, I'm just going to check. Let's have a look. Chrome, please. Thank you. Uh, Binding of Isaac. Crown of Light. Have I unlocked this? I'm not even sure. Is it unlocked? No. It is not unlocked. But it is an angel room item. Maybe it has only shown up in a item room on a special daily. That would make a lot of sense. So we definitely need to be doing angel room, so I'll try and remember to do that in the next episode, and also I'll try and remember to play on hard mode, but I hope you'll forgive me for that minor oversight this time, and I hope you'll see me when I see you, which is the next episode, on Awkward Way of Ending the Episode. Bye.